lot of points you think a community would start to require a full-time community manager. So, let's see. I'd say a thousand is like a, uh, a good starting point um, because not everyone is on at the same time. So, uh, obviously, if you have a peak of activity for whatever reason, you're like requiring people to do something at a certain time. You're going to see it. You know, like, uh, but otherwise, uh, I, I would say roughly a thousand was a point where it was clear. And, and I, at that point, this was a side project to me, and I was I, I, probably like maybe if I was full time, I could have done it. But I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm thinking a thousand is definitely two pairs of eyes become essential, and then it starts like going a bit more exponential. I found uh, because you know you probably know more from the network graphs and stuff. But um, what I found is like probably past that point between two and five became another turning point. Uh, right now, we have on one the, the best structure that I think we're trying to to uh, you know replicate a lot of and up and, and reapply a lot of uh, towards S two D. The best structure that I say we have right now is on two that So we have a lead admin, and um, let, let me backtrack. We basically split the community into into sections. So there will be uh, a forum admin. There'll be a media admin because of the way our network works. There's you know video and photos. You know we kind of bundle them together. Maybe if it's like a heavy photo or video centric network that <coughs> may warrant their own uh, dedicated person. A blog admin, a member admin who's basically in charge of moderating new members and you know monitoring latest activity, have you know profile comments, and then a person that takes on groups, events, and <coughs> what am I missing? I mean we don't. We, we enable chat only when we have like a, a guest or something, so we don't have it on at all times. And I think I'm covering most of it. So those we rotate every month so that people don't get burned out doing the exact same thing every month. And, it, it, and, and there's an, an empty space so that people can rotate into a, a, a month of vacation, again, so they don't get burned out. And, uh, and also so we can have a little buffer in case someone has to go off on vacation or get sick or whatnot. And uh, so we can have a space to, uh, if, if someone leaves, you, can, you have enough time to bring someone in and get them trained by the next cycle. You know, everyone is back on the next slide. So, you know, everyone got screwed up for one month, but this, you know, people are, this is an all-volunteer team. Uh, I, I, I'm, I guess it's possible for a lot of networks to, to do that. But if you get, I imagine if you're not a nonprofit and you start like making enough revenue, you should expect to allocate funds to, to pay, you know, uh, your admins uh, something. Uh, and what we do is like once a year we, 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 we send them, you know, uh, an Amazon gift card and we, we, we try to recognize them as much as, as we can as well because they're really the ones that are doing this every day. Um, so these guys, have a lead admin, and this lead admin plays on a number of roles. Like um, we we used to not have. I mean, that I would be that lead admin, so to speak. So you know, it's like you know, if there's a, a a doubt about how to proceed in a certain situation, especially this is like 80 percent of the time dealing with 20 percent of the members or the issues. You know, you, you've seen this too. Like so, there's there's always that you know um, the very outspoken members or the you know, the borderline people who are like, you know, just pushing it enough, but like not going too far. And, like, ah. and uh, the, um, uh, so there, there are moments when there's not a written rule about something. And uh, that, that person tends to take on that role, you know. So uh, what do we do in this case? And uh, maybe we'll, we'll confer about it and, and make a decision. But, but ultimately, that's where those guidelines also come in handy. I think of them like, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a, an overly religious pe person, but you know, if you think about it, uh, it, these are like the Ten Commandments. So if, if you have a, a doubt, refer to that, and you're like, it's a, okay, so I'm not going to kill anyone. Okay, so I'm not going to kill this guy. So that's kind of the principle. So um, and that person will train, you know, everyone uh, or, or refresh, you know, practices that maybe maybe uh, kind of falling off by the wayside because they're not too common or not being done often enough, or uh, you know, basically serve as a, as, a, as a lead and an example to follow for all the rest of the team. Um, and last, there's, there's a group of, uh, I guess initially they were 
called fine grain moderators. I think it was a term we adopted, and then not, now basically just we designate. We have four people that we split the forum moderation among, and those we do alphabetical. We take the latest activity from A through whatever, and then you know we split it into four roughly equally sized, and they always see the same people. So what they develop is a good sense of the who's who's, and uh, you know they they know if they see a post by Alex is very unlikely that it's going to be, you know, delicate, so they'll, they'll look at it. But, you know, but if they see a post by, by John, maybe they say, like, okay, he's, he's okay. So it, they'll, it, it, they develop a, a very good sense of that. And, and they spot, you know, the issues, like, well before they become issues. Or maybe they don't become issues, but we are le at least are keeping an eye on them at that point. So they report, you know, and it's strictly just a matter of, like, how much time they can afford to spend on the network, uh, they report to the forum admin, and then the forum, and then we have to communicate among ourselves. We keep two Google groups, you know, primitive technology, but it works, and uh, one for fine grain moderators, where all the admins and all the fine grain moderators are a part of, and one for the admins, where only the admins are a part of, and uh, and we're on both, and you know, this one serves as like, hey guys, I just saw this, you know, thought so you should, you know, be looking at this, or you know. Uh, this new member kind of looks a bit uh, strange or whatnot. Um, that model has worked really well. Uh, it's been going on for about a good two years, and it's, I think it is a, uh, again, may, maybe I see it be working differently in terms of, like, compensation in the case of the admins. Uh, in our case, you know, we've been really blessed, you know, with the kind of people. They, they see it as a way uh, to give back to the community in return for what they feel they have gotten as, as patients and what they've been able to learn and improve their diabetes management. So, um, on Estu Diabetes, uh, oh, and so we, ha and we have monthly calls uh, with, with the, each of the teams. Uh, on Estu Diabetes, it becomes a bit trickier because